Hi guys, it's Rudia and welcome back to my channel, Rudia TV. Welcome to week three of our stay at home order reading vlog. Hope you guys enjoy. Quarantine adventures be like. <laughs> Let me just tell you, I can't breathe. I don't know how y'all do this. This is not okay. I can't breathe. Also, <sighs> my face recognition thing on my phone does not work with my mask. That's really funny. We have to reset it. <laughs> I just finished reading Dancing in the Rain by Lynn Joseph and this was such a great book. It recalls the events of 9-11 and just goes through two families' experiences um, post 9-11, one from New York and one from the Dominican Republic and it is very personal to the author and it was just so well done it is told from the perspective of two children and it was just lovely it was lovely um i highly recommend that you read it it won the boot award for caribbean literature in 2015 and that's really cool the author is an attorney she grew up in trinidad and i just think this was so well done it definitely i could see why it won awards it was really good so today i want to do some reading of these two books the orchid house and i said before the audience and my mind went blank and this is of course 101 rules of public speaking by justice buddha so this is my plan for today in terms of reading so i have been trying to um grow some catnip but i have no idea if i'm doing this right i followed the instructions on a pack and i am still waiting for anything to uh sprout so we'll see how that goes wish me luck I just finished filming my book review of Dancing in the Rain so definitely by the time you see this it will be up it should be up so definitely check it out I really really love this book um, I read it in one sitting as I would have said earlier in this vlog so yeah definitely check it out right now I have a, a lot of work to do so I'm going to try to do that I do have plans to read some stuff today um i did show you the two books i wanted to read so that's these two um this one is just to get like a little bit of points i guess just remind us in terms of um speaking publicly and then the orchid house because i just really like the synopsis so it talks about when three white sisters return to their Caribbean home, they find their family sunk in poverty, illness, and despair. And just that first line alone, it is very interesting to me, so I would very much like to start reading this book. And I think because of how much work I have to do, and the fact that I just feel so overwhelmed by it, I think this book is going to be the book that I read in between doing work when I am feeling overwhelmed so I can take a break and take my mind off of my work <laughs> so yeah I'll keep you guys updated tea is in the making I found this little cup that I think is my mom's she got it as a gift from somebody I do so I just thought it was so cute so I am using it also do you guys like Lipton? It's my favorite. I don't really like to drink anything else. <laughs> so I have my tea made and I have the orchid house. I was only able to read a little bit of the introduction before and I just love books that come with this little flap like it's the actual cover of the book. This edition is so cool. So it actually, I could use this as a bookmark and I, I really, really love that because you know me and bookmarks. So that is it for this vlog guys, hope you had a safe week and I will see you in my next vlog, bye!